Almost everyone has attempted a DIY project at some point. So we surveyed over 1,000 people on their recent DIY experiences. Let's take a look at what the 96% of respondents who had attempted a DIY did and how they fared. Most of our surveyed DIYers said they learned how to do their attempted project from video tutorials. Thanks, Internet! Another popular method was getting help from a friend or family member. Nice to have friends like that, right? Interestingly enough, even though one-third of people considered themselves DIY pros, one out of five of these projects still resulted in failure. Womp womp. Let's take a look at areas of the home where you're most likely to run into trouble. Bathrooms and kitchens often involve plumbing and electrical. So if you're a novice DIYer, you might want to start with a different room. But the most commonly tackled DIY project? Painting. Seems simple enough. Plumbing projects, though? Not so much. They have a large failure rate. So we recommend you leave this one to the experts. So why are so many of these projects failing? Most of these mishaps are due to lacking the right equipment or tools. Unfortunately, some of these DIY fails end up being a little pricey. People spend an average of nearly $200 to fix their fails, and over 40% of people ended up having to hire a pro to fix it. Oof. The future of DIY is looking bright, though. Over 90% of people said they'd take on another project. Looking to try something with a high success rate? Replace your shower head. Another simple project with satisfying results? Power washing. But before you take on your next project, check out our blog for some inspiration on what to tackle and when to call in backup. Happy DIYing!